Hello my fellow YouTubers and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to look at installing VirtualBox and with this, this will allow us to be able to do many things with regards to operating systems as well as software testing. The important thing about this software is it also allows us to be able to install various different server environments and client machines and therefore can be a very very useful tool to us from both a technical perspective but also a network admin. So to do this we open up our web browser once we are in there, we can then go to VirtualBox by searching for it. This can be done through obviously a web browser. I'm just using Firefox here, so I'm just going to type it straight into the search bar here. Once we have done that, so we'll say something like VirtualBox official download, etc. We then just need to make sure that we scroll down to the official website. So this will be VirtualBox.org. And from there, we can then begin the process of downloading the product. So when we look at the product itself, the product page, there are various different versions of this. Yes, this is directly portable into things like Linux as well and, and various different other operating systems like for example Apple. So you just need to choose the correct one. We choose the Windows host VirtualBox. We can then just continue watching the download and from there we can then begin the setup process. So we do the setup process by just going to the downloads folder clicking on it or you can go into the folder and you can go right click and then run as administrator totally up to you so there the installer begins we then click next you can choose the components we wish to install we're just installing all of them so we can click next and once we click next um, in effect what this is going to do it's going to install everything that is not gray once we're done we can click yes and when we click yes, what this is going to do is now if take us to the next. With regards to things like software dependency, just click next and then install. Your dependencies are just any additional update packages or anything like that that it might need to download from an online source. This can relate to things like different versions or different operating systems because obviously your software and your tools and things of that nature will look very, very different um, depending on uh, whether you're using Linux or whether you're using something like Windows. Remember that Linux doesn't use things like EXE files, whereas Windows does. So obviously there you are dealing with different types of files. They'd be very, very different um, in the way they look to that of Windows. So it's got to run through the whole setup process. It's got to look for any additional files or anything that it needs. And it's just got to pull all of this down. And you can see with this version of VirtualBox, we're using 7.0. 14. So you just you would look at that and just make sure you're downloading the most current version. Apart from that, it doesn't really matter which version you had in the past. The steps are exa virtually exactly the same. Once we've done that, we just finish that. We can now close the browser as well. And we can then just open up VirtualBox and have a look at it. This is populated with Windows 8.1. This is just a previous virtual machine that I had. Uh, which we can obviously add or delete and that sort of thing but you won't actually see that thank you very much for watching this video seeing you again soon